I'm sorry for that. It's just been uh, it's been a little crazy and a little bit crazy in the world, man. Um, trying to stay motivated and and um, and uh, all that stuff. You know, I always say that it's always a challenge. Um, and man, um, just you know, appreciate you guys uh, being here and, and having us um, everybody be a part of this huge outlet that we've developed on YouTube with all these guitar players. This kind of club that we that we have with. Uh, Uncle Larry and Brett Papa and Rick Beato and all the great uh, guitar players that are sharing tons of stuff out there and, and tons of knowledge and wisdom uh, regarding music. Um, still here in East, beautiful, sunny East Nashville, Tennessee. Little relief from the heat today. Um, but I wanted to come up here and, and do a video. I got a pretty busy week coming up. I'm doing, um, let's see, I got two Sean Camp gigs, which are great songwriter and, and, and picker and singer that we have a a band that we've been playing with for a long time but hadn't played for a couple years uh to obvious reasons and so getting back on track with that the first and second will be at the analog room at the hutton hotel great room uh doing the sean camp band thing then july 5th at the um station in with me and john oates doing the duo uh the trio's playing tonight at the beautiful sunny uh underdog lounge and package here in east nashville tennessee looking forward um to that i'm loving playing with that trio and by the way i wanted to say Thank you guys so much for all the uh, venue suggestions that you guys sent out. We're, we're compiling a master list 
And uh, my good buddy Josh up in New York City is going to help us uh, do some booking. And so my goal from, I've been trying to kind of figure out what the next chapter of my life is going to look like here with all this, uh, with all this stuff. And I'm thinking that, um, man, I'm just going to go for it and, and try to do, you know, my own uh, trio and do get out there and play some music for the people outside of Nashville, which uh, that's me at my happiest is playing with that trio. More footage of that stuff to come. If you do get through Nashville, I do play every Monday night at the uh, Underdog, so come see us. Anyway, back to this. And of course, I will say, uh, since it's been a minute since I've been on here, uh, check out the links below, everything education-oriented, uh, all the tiers of lessons. You can email bookings at guthrietrap.com for all that. Uh, of course, check all that stuff out, blah, blah, blah. But anyway, main thing is, is appreciate you guys. Thanks for being here and, uh, and, and putting up with my really erratic um, posting schedule uh, and all that. So, um, I just thought it'd be cool to do something with a little bit of a backing track here. Uh, I always say no extra charge for mistakes. I've tried to call out those chords in the beginning. That's, um, D minor, A minor to G minor and just back and forth. Right. So not, it, uh, it lends itself to some kind of melodic playing right out of that chord, uh, shape. Right. So there's D minor, kind of a little reggae groove. I'm, this is a perfect opportunity to really start marking these chord shapes. Now what that is, I'm using the C triad and the B flat triad over the A minor and the G minor because it just fits nice melodically. Here's E, uh, sorry, D minor arpeggio. So I'm using that. So that note on the G string, the minor third of those chords, that's the harmony note. That's the that's the the key note, right? So that really puts you in that G minor right there. So and again at the end, I did a little uh, arpeggio. So the, the five, the first time around, so that's D minor, A minor, then using the D note as from the G uh, minor chord, and then the second time around, up to that, you know, that's still your minor third, so it works as a melody note. So uh, the point of all this is I wanted to stress something as I've been teaching more and more and more and, and really realizing that Yes, you do have to have these core fundamentals of, um, and I'm instilling again, chord shapes, chord shapes, chord shapes, but also um, the fact that you got to use your ear. I mean, at the end of the day, it's like food. You're, you're, you're tasting it with music, you're hearing it. So all this stuff is, is important to get under your fingers, but the final judge, the final judgment call is your ear. So it has to sound good. And so um, playing, people say, man, I like your playing, you play melodically. Well, that's because I'm playing very simply out of these out of these chord positions. Like um, out of this, you know, here's my, knowing that there's my D minor, there's my G minor. So literally I'm just changing. Arpeggio, uh, G. So it's really hearing what that minor vibe sounds like. Just, man, I can't stress how important that is to really focus on what you're hearing when you're playing. It doesn't matter if you're just noodling around and having fun and experimenting over some of these, uh, these arpeggios and stuff starting to get those under your fingers. But man, really focus as much as you possibly can on what you're actually hearing. When you're listening to music during the day or, or however you do it, 
try to pick up on, hey, is that a minor groove? Is that a major or is that a, um, uh, uh, a dominant seven or a major seven? So when you're listening to music, make a game out of it and go, okay, I'm picking up that that's a minor vibe. Like, you know, Black Magic Woman is a minor vibe. Um, uh, the Almond Brothers, Jessica, you know. Uh, very, um, very minor, uh, uh, sorry, very major. Discerning those sounds is so important. I can't even stress that enough. So when you sit down to practice, check out, uh, maybe just playing through major vibe for a while, A major. go to A minor and stay in that vein for a while, but don't, don't let yourself waver. And if you start to kind of get unsure or unsettled, go back to that chord and get that foundation for your ear pounded in there. So again, here's major, A major. tell you the rule is you get a, a pentatonic for major you get a pentatonic for minor but you don't really get a, a straight pentatonic that works over the dominant seven chord and there's a million songs and feels that have that dominant seven chord because that's the sound of the blues constantly coming back to that dominant seven sound and then um and don't forget also playing over these dominant seven chords if you're just playing the blues a major scale with the flat seven goes over the a, a dominant chord go to the d d7 the four d uh major scale with the flat seven every dominant chord and it really starts getting your ear hip to what that sounds like it's not gonna be a long video uh i just wanted to check in and, and uh throw a couple things out there to you um if you want to check out anything lesson oriented please check out artist works uh the three different lesson tiers i have zoom lessons uh in nashville private lessons and the guitar immersion experience which um is uh is going really well i've been doing those like crazy here so that's been awesome uh, thanks for all the support. Looking forward to uh, coming to your town hopefully soon as we build up this trio stuff and um, just looking forward to recording some new music uh, this summer and uh, and everything just um, just growing and trying to stay positive and and um, and keep uh, all this stuff rolling. So thanks again guys. Look forward to seeing you real soon and um, uh, reach out to me and, and let's stay in touch. I'm not hard to find. All right. Thanks guys. Bye.